This is Hydrogen Tap 1 Series 3. What we're doing is testing a new plate system. There are 15 stainless steel plates instead of the 11 that we had before. Each plate is 5.5 by 3 inches, separated by an insulator. What we're doing is testing this amperage wise to see the amount of amps that it will carry, which is about 16 amps here. There are no electrolytes in the water and we're at 12 volts. The ideal situation is to not use any electrolytes, which we're not using now in this system. This is a system that was installed in the car before with 11 plates. With the 15 plates, bringing it up to 16 amps here at 12 volts, or around 12 volts, this should do the job. Installed in the car, we're going to be putting out with the alternator between 14 and 16 volts, charging-wise, which will bring the amperage up. Also, the water temperature in the unit will go from what it is now around 60 degrees, or now it's 70, to probably between 80 and 110. So theoretically, anyway, it looks like we should be able to come up to almost 30 amps without any electrolyte in the water. This will be due strictly to the amount of plates that we have in the unit. One of the problems I had with the unit as it was installed before was the water sensors. The new unit will have two water sensors, a high mark where the water starts at and a low mark when you need it refilled. The sensors will have lights on them in the cab which will be on. When the sensors go off, the first sensor will go off telling us that we're below the first level. The second sensor will go off telling us it needs to be refilled. Once this unit is completed, we'll install automatic water fills using the same sensors. Good shot of the plates. As you can see, the system's working very well. The next video will be showing this installed in the Series 3 unit. I'm hoping to get this. Here's a top view, and you're going to see how quickly the hydrogen's formed because of the 15 plates. Here's a good shot of the electrodes. This is one side. Each side carries 